Hello friends, welcome to Techno Science Club. Today is our uh, important and interesting topic that is why the noble gases are stable in nature? Why only the noble gases in the periodic table are stable in nature? Let's find, discuss and analysis the answer of this question in this class. Please see this video until the end and please if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Please press the bell symbol beside the subscribe button and select the all option. Then you can get the new notifications from our channel. Let's go into the topic. Okay, friends. Why the noble gases are stable in nature? Welcome back why the noble gases are stable in nature you know that the noble gases are also called as a inert gases inert gases means they are not participating in any chemical reaction they are inert and the noble gases are helium neon argon krypton xenon these are the noble gases and the key properties of that noble gases are uh, stable in nature they are stable in nature they are colorless, they are odorless, and they are inert in nature. And the noble gases are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. You can observe the figures of uh, the gases glowing. And the helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon are the noble gases. The noble gases are belongs to 18th group and first period in the periodic table you can observe that periodic table they are last 18th group elements noble gases helium neon argon krypton the atomic numbers of helium is 2 and the neon is 10 and the argon is 18 and the krypton is 36 and the xenon is 54 and uh, radon is 86 and another new 118 elements are also discovered but not confirmed this is also noble gas for now, there are six noble gases confirmed. There are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radar. Why the noble gases are stable in nature? Let's observe. They are having stable electronic configuration, NS2, NP6. They are having stable electronic configuration, outermost electronic configuration, NS2, NP6. Here, N means the number of uh, last valency orbit. And the S and P are the subshells. And the electrons, you can count the electrons in S subshell. There is two electrons in P subshell. There is six electrons. Total number of electrons is eight in the last valency shell N. So, in their outermost shells, they have eight electrons. You can observe the noble gases except helium. Helium has uh, two electrons in their outermost shell because... Uh, its atomic number is 2 and it having 2 electrons only. They not uh, get 8 electrons in their outermost shell. Remaining helium, argon, krypton, xenon, radon having 8 electrons in their outermost shell. You can observe that. You can observe the figure also except helium. Remaining helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon's uh, outermost shells figure shells figure you can observe that outermost orbit can having eight electrons you can count that outermost orbit of every noble gas except helium having eight electrons in their outermost shell and the noble gases outermost shell is completely filled the noble gases outermost shell is completely filled and the element you know that the element who has eight electrons in their outermost orbit is stable in nature. This is called octaneous rule. So the noble gases are uh, follow the octaneous rule and having the eight electrons in their outermost shell. Then by this, the noble gases are stable in nature. They are having eight electrons in their outermost shell and follow the octaneous rule. So the noble gases are stable in nature by the stable electronic configuration 
and the stable eight electrons in their outermost shell of tenuous role so they don't need electrons and they don't lose electrons to be stable every element is tried to be stable in the periodic table except noble gases the every elements are tried to get stable as the noble gases by gaining electrons or by losing electrons any way the elements are tried to get stable by losing or gaining but noble gases don't need electrons or don't lose the electrons to be stable because they have eight electrons fully filled outermost shell is there for the noble gases the noble gases are stable in nature the noble gases the pro let's uh, deal the properties of noble gases that are noble gases are typically high unreactive because of the stability they know they don't need electrons they don't gain electrons so they don't participate any reaction they don't uh, participate any any chemical bonding with the other elements so the noble gases are typically highly unreactive except when under the particular extreme conditions the noble gases are in the noble gases the radon is a radioactive element you can observe and you can note that important point they are colorless the noble gases are colorless odorless and non toxic and monatomic gases the noble gases having several important applications in the industries uh, such as lightning industry welding industry and the space explorations the noble gases are also used in space explorations in the rocket as a new as a fuel rocket fuel and these are the noble gases helium neon argon krypton xenon radon and the lightning effect you can see that the noble gases of helium sorry neon argon krypton xenon are used as a lighting industry as uh, make the lights with different colors next the helium and uh, oxygen mixed gas helium oxygen breathing gas called uh, heliox is uh, oftenly used by the deep sea divers at the depth of uh, sea water over 55 meters or uh, 180 feet the deep divers are used uh, heliox gas that is the mixture of helium and oxygen and the new noble gases are uh, having low melting points and low boiling points you can observe the melting points and boiling points of the noble gases and also the density and also the atomic number atomic radius ionization energy electron affinity of the all noble gases in this figure so this is the video thank you for watching if you like this video please uh, like share and subscribe don't forget press the bell symbol beside the subscribe button and select the all option then you can get the notifications of our new videos from our channel so please like share and subscribe thank you thank you for watching jai hind vande mataram